Bonjour à tous! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tiff. I'm an American living in Paris here to help you navigate life abroad, navigate life in Paris. And today, ooh, I am so excited for today's video because I'm spending 24 hours in black owned Paris. how I would spend a day in Paris, um, pretty much only going to black owned businesses and brands. Um, I really wanted to share with you guys some of the black owned businesses here in Paris that I personally frequent, as well as explore some new brands that I kind of recently discovered. So um, jam packed day today, but excited to take you guys along with me to really share with you guys uh, some of the black owned businesses and brands here in Paris. Before we go, you know, I got to show you guys the look. So I am just wearing this like long black uh, dress with the waist belt that I got from I think Misguided. And and I actually just got my hair done. <laughs> Look how long my hair is. Woof! I didn't even tell them to make it this long. They just did, but I'm kind of liking it. It's like, Lord Jesus, please don't let it get caught in everything. Um, but yeah, this is the look of the day and I'll probably just throw on some like dad sandals or something with it. I'm just gonna walk you around super quickly because um, I'm meeting my friend for brunch in literally 20 minutes. Um, but here we are. So here's where you'll find a lot of the black beauty supply stores, hair salons, beauty shops, all that fun stuff. I can't say that I can't say that every single one of the stores in this area is black owned because I'm honestly not sure of that. But I do know that here you can find a lot of the beauty supply shops. Um, again, hair salons, you can get your hair braided here, all of that fun stuff. I know that there's another area called Chateau Rouge where I believe it's pretty similar but might be a little bit smaller. I haven't checked that area out yet, but who knows, maybe we'll head there today. But just wanted to show you around here first. So this strip that I'm on right now is called Rouge Chateau Do, and it's where you'll find a lot of the black beauty supply stores. Um, so let me show you guys around. supply shops and salons on this strip. My favorite beauty supply shop and the one that I go to all the time, I think it's the biggest one in this area, is called Prestige 55. And I'm gonna show you guys that one right now. And then they have so many others in this area, like Prestige Beauté, which is right behind me. Let's see what else that they have. And then Al Jamada, which is right behind me. But you, as you can see, they literally all have all of the black hair hair products. Um, and I was so excited when I discovered this area, because when I first came to Paris, I was like, oh my gosh, where am I gonna get my hair done? Where am I gonna get my products? Oh, and then here's another one called Prestige. I think I've been in this one a few times too. The owner's really, really nice. So definitely something to know if you are coming to Paris and are in need of getting your hair done or are in need of uh, black beauty products, here is definitely the place to come. And just so you guys know, the street that I'm on right now is called Boulevard de Strasbourg. So this street also has a ton of beauty shops and then also Rue du Chateau d'Eau has a ton too. So those are the two streets that you need to be on if you're looking for uh, black hair care, black salons and whatnot in Paris. All right, so now let's head to brunch. I'm so excited for this brunch, honestly. Oh, the food here is so good. Stay tuned.
Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So guys, I love, love, love Gumbo Yaya. It's black owned. It's a great soul food restaurant here in Paris. Um, I just love coming here. The food is so good, it never disappoints. So I would highly, highly recommend you adding this restaurant to your list when you're coming to Paris. And guys, also they have the best sweet tea. I don't, think, I don't think I've been able to find this anywhere else besides here. Have you seen sweet tea here in Paris? I haven't. Yes! I love how I'm just like holding up the picture. No, but the funny thing... All right, so this is her very first time at Gumbo Yaya. So what do you think? Amazing, worth it, worth every calorie yes. that I get. <laughs> <laughs> it's that good, guys, I'm telling you, it's that good. This is Lionel. He's the owner of Gumbo Yaya. Hello. hello. I'm so excited to meet him. So, will you tell us a bit about like what inspired you to create Gumbo Yaya? Yeah, I had my home living in Macon, Georgia. At the recipients of the Sunday big tables and all mm -hmm. that. So I Sunday dinners. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanted to recreate that in Paris. Ah. So, and to give love and all that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and honestly, guys, he did such a good job. Y'all know I always talk about Gumbo Yaya. <laughs> It's really so good. So we appreciate you in this restaurant Thank so much. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. So much time and all that in these difficult times. I know. And I appreciate that. Of course. <laughs> it's worth it. Like it's so worth it guys. When you come to Paris, you definitely have to make a stop here. So guys, that was so good. Now I'm on the way to the nail salon because these nails desperately need to get done. But look behind me. I don't know if you can see it. But this is the hostel that I stayed in on my very first trip to Paris. Crazy how things come full circle. It's called the generator. Crazy, guys. But yeah, just heading to the train. I should be running to the train because I do not want to miss this appointment. But um, I think I'll get there in time. Nail experience in the Citadium. It's kind of like a mall here in Paris, right next to Pont Tom, and they did such a good job. Alright guys, I'm now on the way to Maison Chateau Rouge, which is supposed to be like a really cool like Afrocentric shop here in Paris. I've been seeing it on a bunch of blogs and then my friend also told me about it too, so I figured I'd make my way over there today. And honestly guys, there are so many black owned businesses here in Paris. I was just talking to Lionel a bit about this as well. So I'm working on something for you guys who are really interested in learning more about the black owned businesses here in Paris. But yeah, I definitely want to share with you guys um, more of the businesses that I'm learning about, discovering, that I frequent and all that fun stuff. So on my way to this shop now, and then after that, meeting a friend who's in town, um, one of my friends that went to Howard with me, shout out to HU, uh, he's in town, so we are going to meet for dinner at um, one of my favorite Senegalese spots in Paris. So stay tuned, guys.
small in there, um, but they had a few cute kind of like Afrocentric things. So I'm glad I stopped by just because I've been hearing about it a lot. And um, we're actually in Chateau Rouge, which is the area I was kind of sharing about earlier in the video. That's kind of similar to Chateau d'Eau in the sense that it does have um, some African braiding salons and black beauty supply stores here as well. But I will say it does feel a lot more congested and crowded than um, Chateau d'Eau was for sure. So one thing to keep in mind. So a very last stop of the day is this restaurant called Wally Fay. I've been there once before and it's just so good. So I figured I'd take you guys here as a last stop in my day in black owned Paris. So it's black owned, it's a Senegalese restaurant and it is so, so good. Howard Hands. <laughs> Did you like the food? I love the food. Okay. So Wally Fay is another great place to check out. Um, but I'm so excited he's in town. Well, he's leaving tomorrow. I know. But it was so go. good to catch up. Somebody that. send me a visa so I can stay in France. <laughs> <laughs> back home. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this fun day in my life, um, bringing you to some of the black owned businesses here in Paris. Kind of exhausting because I feel like I was just ripping and running all over Paris, but um, perfect end to the night at Wally Fay. Again, guys, it's such a great restaurant. I'm sorry guys, I don't even think I shot a lot of uh, content at Wally Fay just because we were just catching up. Um, it's so much fun when um, old friends uh, come to visit and uh, this is a friend, as I mentioned before, from Howard. Um, so we met at school. So yeah, it was definitely a great catch up, perfect end to the night. Now I I'm absolutely exhausted. It's uh, actually almost midnight. So um, I'm gonna head to bed, but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.